let's talk about deep venous thrombosis the blood clots within a deep vein that will eventually lead to swelling redness warmth and pain this condition is predisposed by a virchose triad virco triad has three component the first one is stasis that means if a person remains in the same condition for a long time like post operatively during long drive or in a long flight another condition is hypercoagulability that is a defect in coagulation cascade proteins such as factor v laden so when the proteins are working more and there will be a hypercoagulable state the third component of virchow's triad is endothelial damage during endothelial damage the exposed collagen will trigger clotting cascade okay let's suppose here we have veins here endothelial cells so when these are damaged the bone vibrant factor will be exposed that will pull the platelets toward their side so when the platelets will come here so what will happen they will help to make a clot so the blood will accumulate and the clot but they will block the vessel all right let's draw a simple vein so here we have a vein if the blood is clot inside this vein like this and this will lead to thrombosis okay so let's suppose here we have a thrombosis and when the blood flows from this vein what will happen the path is blocked so blood cannot move so that condition will lead to deep venous thrombosis all right the most pulmonary emboli arises from proximal deep veins of lower extremity so for the treatment of this condition we will use unfractioned heparin or low molecular weight heparin such as enoxaparin for both prophylaxis and acute management use oral co anticoagulants like warfarin rivaroxaban for treatment of long term prevention the imaging test of choice is compression ultrasound with doppler in this condition another clinical correlation related to this condition is phlegmasia elba dolans this is a painful white leg or milk leg is a consequence of iliofemoral venous thrombosis occurring in peripartum women so during pregnancy this condition predisposes to deep venous thrombosis due to pressure of the gravid uterus on deep pelvic veins producing venous stasis as well as increased hypercoagulability